Hi guys, so straight out of the bat I want to say this video is sponsored by Apex Legends the board game and as you can see there's a Kickstarter starting very soon I'll leave a link down in the description guys go give that a click get the, uh, the launch notification so you won't miss out when that starts and I'm very fortunate that they've sent me some of the miniatures that you can play in this game and yeah they look absolutely awesome and I can't wait to get these painted I'm also going to leave some links down below guys, so if you want to know more about the actual gameplay and what you get in the box set, um, yeah, go check out Play on Tabletop, or Tabletop Skirmish Games, or Glass Cannon Unplugged. Um, Glass Cannon Unplugged are actually the makers of the game, so obviously lots more information there in regard to the gameplay and say, what you get in the box. But obviously for me, I'm more interested in getting these little bad boys and girls, um, yeah, painted. I have actually played Apex Legends uh, on the Xbox, well, only a couple of times. But yeah, I'm definitely more of a sort of tabletop kind of person as well. As I'm sure you guys are fully aware, I love miniatures. So yeah, these are absolutely awesome. So don't forget to click on the link down below just so you get notified of when this does actually go live. Which as I say, is only about a week away now, so not long at all. And I've had a look at what you get with the starter set and it looks pretty amazing because you get all the floor tiles, you get the terrain pieces. Lots of tokens, and obviously the miniatures, as well as a whole variety of other stuff. So yeah, guys, go click on the links, and as I say, you'll be able to see the other channels that go more into what's actually in the box. But for now, let's crack on and get these painted. So as you can see, I put them on my nice little painting handles. This just makes it a lot easier for me to, well, paint them. And then using a little bit of magic, we can get these all primed in black. As, as we all know, I do the old slap chop painting technique. So start off priming in black. And then we'll do some dry brushing with grey and dry brushing with white. But as you'll be able to notice, I actually started these some time ago. Which is why I'm dry brushing and I'm using the old kitchen towel. Which as we know, is what I don't use anymore. I've got a lovely new textured dry brush palette. So if you haven't seen the video guys, uh, well it's only a few days old. So after you watch this video, yeah, go and check out the other sort of video I've got on a better way of doing dry brushing. So I'm going to do a kind of a batch paint with these four guys, uh, or girls. Um, yeah, so obviously usual sort of thing, dry brush with grey. Um, and I'll, I will do this to all four models. And then once that has obviously dried, then I'll do dry brushing with white. And yeah, this is how they look when that's all done. And these are now ready to go um, for some good old, uh, well, speed paints. Uh, as we all know, Army Painter, I absolutely love their paints. I do use some contrast paints as well as others. But as you can see, the Army Painter ones, I do have the, well, the best sort of collection of colours. Which does make it a lot easier when I'm deciding or trying to decide what it is or how it is I'd like to paint these up. So, these people, I'm painting these, well, I'm painting these how I want to paint them. Um, as opposed to making them look like they do in the sort of the board game. Um, or even in the actual sort of Xbox game. I say, I did play it a couple of times, but this is going back, oh, I don't know, a good year, maybe more. Um, yeah, if you know me, you'll know I've got a memory like a sieve, and I, I've got no idea. I've played it a couple times with my daughter. Um, wasn't bad, but I'm not very good at shooting games, I must admit. I kind of get a bit panicky, and I end up just pushing buttons. Um, yeah, I have played some games, and instead of shooting them, I've actually thrown a sort of first aid kit at someone. Uh, yeah, I just get panicked. So that's why I think for me, board games is so much better. Because you get that little bit more thinking time, uh, which, yeah, I definitely do need. So these figures do come already assembled. Um, yeah, and then it's just a case of obviously painting them however you like, or just use them as the grey plastic uh, when they first turn up. And these certainly are cool looking miniatures, definitely lots of sort of texture um, and things going on with them, which is obviously great because the slap chop paint technique generally works better when you do have a, a, a more highly detailed miniature. Uh, yeah, which these certainly are. So obviously all these sort of like nooks and crannies and all this sort of the, the cloth being a lot textured. Um, yeah, it just really works well with speed paints and contrast paints. So this board game is a little bit different from some others um, in the respect that it doesn't use any dice. This one uses tokens and it's the tokens you use to, well, decide or work out whether you hit someone or it's a miss. Um, so yeah, so definitely a, an interesting way of, well, attacking. Like I said right at the beginning of the video, if you go and check out Play on Tabletop or Tabletop Skirmish Games, there are links down below, you'll be able to see exactly how the gameplay goes. And it's definitely the kind of game that I would play, as in it's quite sort of fast-actioned, 
Um, and every time something happens, you can react to things that are happening. Which, again, that's obviously why I do like playing uh, the kill teams. I like games that are faster. Obviously, you use less, uh, less miniatures. And, yeah, there's always something going on and something happening. So you're not sort of like hanging around waiting for it to be your turn. Uh, and this is definitely one of those games where, yeah, things are happening all the time. You're rather sort of reacting or acting. Um, and, yeah, definitely a game worth checking out. So back to the painting. And this is where I really love, where possible, doing batch painting. So any new kill teams that I bring out or have a go at trying, um, yeah, whenever I paint them, I will do them all as sort of one sort of unit. Um, just because, yeah, when you've got your brush full of whatever colour, put it on whatever miniature and then go through and put it on the rest. So, yeah, batch painting, definitely for the win. And obviously using the snapshot paint technique, things are fast anyway. So, yeah, this makes it super fast. So, yeah, with these guys, um, again, I've not looked at how, well, how they're normally sort of painted or coloured or what their outfits look like. I really have gone with, well, what I wanted to do, which is really nice. And, again, that's, that's why I love the whole painting miniatures and I love the hobby and everyone else who's into the hobby. We are all different. We all have different sort of tastes. Um, and yeah, sort of likes different colours on our miniatures, which is pretty cool. And orange is obviously my favourite colours. So generally, if I can on a miniature, I will get some orange in, well, somewhere along the lines. So it didn't take long at all to get the slap chop part done. Uh, and then, as we know, I am now trying, where possible, to add some sort of edge highlighting. Just to, well, try and improve the other uh, figures as much as I can. And because I say, I'm, I'm really enjoying painting. So, yeah, trying out a few new sort of tips and tricks, techniques, all the rest of it. Uh, it's always fun. Uh, sometimes things come out better than others. So, definitely with the highlighting, um, I need to try and use the edge of the brush, the brush even, uh, more than the sort of the tip as well. Like you guys, I watch other people. <laughs> um, well, I watch a lot of other people painting. And, yeah, some of them say they, they can make it so easy. And you think, well, how am I ever going to be able to do that? And like anything, yeah, practice makes perfect. You just have to keep on trying, persevering, and trying to work out how you can turn a technique into your technique. So, yeah, you can do it nice and simply, easily, and have fun with it. Apart from painting eyes, you can never have fun painting eyes. They are the horriblest and worst things ever to paint. Um, and, yeah, generally, I don't. So with these guys, I am obviously going over and giving their skin a little bit more of a, uh, well, a nicer, cleaner sort of look. As much as the speed paints, I absolutely love them. The skin tone ones generally are quite dark. Um, so yes, yeah, so going over highlighting or going over the edges, highlighting is definitely something I normally do with the skin now. But yeah, their eyes. Um, this is where I love sort of Space Marines because generally, if I'm doing a Space Marine, I will always put the hat on. And if I'm doing Orcs, well, a little uh, a little blob of red generally does the trick in their eyeball. But uh, yeah, these miniatures, um, yeah, there's no way I'm going to do their eyes. So they're all going to be like frozen in time, rather asleep in um, or blinking, <laughs> one of the two. As these guys came on bases, well, it's rude not to well finish off, finish off the bases. So I like to keep bases nice and simple, and I use this. It's a mixture of I mean, four different kind of green sort of pretend grass in here. There's some little stones in there, and there's some little bits of cork as well. So it's got quite a mixture, but quite a sort of a, a natural look to it, which is pretty cool. So these guys are kind of like on a bit of rocky terrain, but there are obviously areas where I think the grass would look good. So using the good old cheap PVA kids sort of poster glue. Um, yeah, obviously this stuff takes a while to dry, but well, sometimes we're not in a rush. So yeah, just using a bit of, uh, bit of an old brush, dabbing it around, getting it all to all the nooks and crannies where it needs to go. But obviously making sure I can still see the, uh, the rocks sort of coming through. And yeah, good old sort of sprinkle. I did used to have one of those static guns, but I kind of found whenever I used it, obviously on larger pieces, um, yeah, it, whilst it did look obviously reasonably good because the grass stands up on end, I kind of like just, well, what I'm doing here, just sort of putting it on with my fingers um, and then, yeah, letting it dry. And yeah, I think it looks great. And I say, it's just a lot less bother than the old uh, static grass amplifier thingy. You know what I mean. Anyway. Back to this, last little thing to do, just trim up the uh, the rims, going around, nice little bit of black. And yeah, that's these bad boys done, and this is how they look in all their glory.
So I'm really pleased with how these came out. And I say these miniatures have got so much detail in them. They are pretty awesome. Don't forget to click on the link below, guys, to find out more about this game and when it's released. And click on the notify me on launch, as that way, well, you'll be notified when it's launched. Which I say, isn't far off now. And the game does come with a multitude of bits and pieces. So there's a few uh, sort of shields and bits here. Uh, but you do get the floor mats, loads of terrain, obviously all the, uh, the tokens and everything else. And yeah, it looks absolutely awesome, guys. And if you want to find out more about what's in the game and the actual gameplay itself, go check out Play on Tabletop and Tabletop Skirmish Games. Again, link down below. I just want to say a big shout out and thank you to Glass Cannon Unplugged for sponsoring this video and sending me these miniatures early because they are just awesome to paint. There is another video on the screen, guys. Give that a click to see more of what I do. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. You guys all take care and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.